And over in Libya, fighting between rival political factions continue, but talks to hammer out a deal to end the divisions between them still carry on in Cairo. It's hoped that mediation from a UN envoy Martin Kobler and Egypt may help. A CCTV Zaza Hakim has the latest. Fighting has erupted again in Libya. Fire broke out in one of the oil terminals as armed militias tried to regain control of the vital oil fields taken over by the Libyan National Army last week. This comes on the backdrop of an acute political crisis. The real political problem is surrounding the military's role in the future. Essential not to have militias, how to disarm groups and protect the military institutions. Also, the choice of the army chief of staff should be from the parliament and the top post as well. In Cairo, the sides are attempting to put together a new unity government with a three-member presidential council. According to UN deal signed last year in Morocco, the presidential council should form a coalition government that must be ratified by parliament. However, the Tobruk parliament refused to approve a unity government composed of 30 ministers earlier this year. There must be concessions from all Libyan sides. They must be more wise and create a real unity government that can face the current problems and bring stability to the country. In Cairo, Parliament Speaker Aqila Saleh has repeatedly insisted on the need for a balanced, limited-sized government accepted to all sides. UN envoy Martin Kobler has requested 48 hours to seek approval for these proposals from UN Chief Ban Ki-moon. Time is not a luxury at the moment for Libya. The political conflict has been distracting attention from the war on ISIL, and a failure to reach agreement could lead to a civil war that will affect Libya and the whole region. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.